In this problem, we have to evaluate the inverse Laplace transform of this function. So the first thing to do is to realize that you can actually factor the bottom piece here. We can rewrite this as the inverse Laplace transform of one over, and if you try to factor it, let's try it, you need two numbers that multiply to four and add to four. So two and two will do the job. So let's rewrite it as the inverse Laplace transform of one over, and we can write it as s plus two quantity squared. And the reason I wrote it this way is so we can use the first translation theorem. It basically says that whenever we do a shift, it's going to give us uh, an exponential. So what we'll do is we'll write down our inverse Laplace transform. I'll write this as one over s squared, and we'll do a shift. We'll take s to s plus two. So basically these are the same thing, right? All we've done is write this line which says s is actually s plus two. So now there's a formula we can use to evaluate this piece. So the inverse Laplace transform of n factorial over s to the n plus one, that's equal to t to the n. Right, that's because the Laplace of t to the n is this. You basically, you memorize this one. Laplace of t to the n is n factorial over this. So going backwards, um, the inverse Laplace is, is this one. Okay, so here in this problem, n is actually equal to 1. Right? There's a 1 factorial here. So this will just be t. And then I mentioned that the shift turns into an exponential. It does. So because we're going from s to s minus negative 2, we're going to get an e to the negative 2t. And that would be the final answer. So if it was like s to s minus 2, it would be 2. If it's s to s minus 3, it's e to the 3t. If it's s to s plus 4, it's e to the negative 4t. So that's it.